What's up? Shout out to my guy Fahad over here. It's your trade of the day and it's brought to you by Day Trade the World. Make sure you click that QR code below to start your journey ASAP with the best prop firm around. Look, we chose Microsoft today as our trade of the day just because, again, you know, when we sort of talked about it, this just happened recently, so I'll talk about this. But we've just been very, very patient with Microsoft. And you can see here in the morning, it didn't really do too much. Actually, uh, Neil, just can you just minimum, just push this down a little bit more uh, just so I can see this bottom if you have this. Just this chart. Yeah, bring it down. Uh, no, 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 no. Bring it back up. Just make it smaller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Technical issues here. Uh, it's my fault, though. Uh, yeah, now bring it up. Now bring it up. There we go, perfect, thank you. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that in the morning here, Microsoft, and just because it was bouncing off this 241.20, that's really all that I wanted to show there, just to show you guys, because the market opens, this is 943, so that's 940 or 930, opens up, kind of bounces around. We had bigger fish to fry. We didn't even have Microsoft on our radar. And again, on earnings day, not just the day when it's reporting, but even the day before, and maybe even a couple days after, it's very, very risky to get into an early position without sort of seeing like what the momentum is on the stock and what people are thinking. So even though today, look, Microsoft down 0.3, NASDAQ, which I wanted to show you, which was right here, also down 0.3. So today it's a pretty much a one-to-one. -one. And as you can see, this morning we had a couple issues at the NYSE. So I think that created a big, huge bump up in NASDAQ names. And you can see Microsoft doesn't really have that kind of a move. It does here at about 10.30, where we stop at 2.43. But it's not really following the NASDAQ early. Like you don't have this big sort of reverse, like kind of an end reverse V-shape move there. That doesn't happen in Microsoft, but it does happen in the market. And then you basically have had a NASDAQ, as Brendan said, kind of choppy here today. It's heading to the downside right now. So maybe we do have that. So we waited, we just waited for Microsoft, right? We knew we wanted to trade it a little bit today once we could sort of get the feel. And for me, Microsoft was more negative than the market today just in watching it. So we actually waited for it to sort of make a bottom here at 241.20 and then we highlighted the top 244 here's a uh, one day chart here for microsoft and again you're just you're at the 50 period right now 241 242 so we do expect a little bit of action back and forth from this so again today waiting for earnings as you could see clearly up down and around right now so not much happening on the stocks we had to be very very specific we waited for it to come up and then i was like okay we know that we wanted to get short so we used the 200 period and view up against 242.50 the best part about this trade was see this top right here this is what we we're waiting for that's 242.50 with a wick up to 60 so as we're shorting in here 40s and 50s we're giving ourselves about 10 cents so overall it'll be between 15 to 20 cents worth of risk and then all of a sudden it pays off. It starts to come back down and we start taking out some profit. That's actually 241.70. So right there, that's about 90 cents. We talked about it on the midday show where we were like 10 to one or so on the risk to reward on this one because we had about 10 to 15 cents upside by the time we had our last position on and there we are taking 90 cents. But then the market, which is right over here, I keep putting the chart in the wrong way. Then the market took off to the upside. So what did we do? This is where we take an L on our last 10%. It comes back up to the upside, but then then we start averaging in against that same level. Look what happens when it gets taken out. That's 242.60. So again, stick with your rules. What was a good trade right here turns sour right there. But notice we don't start averaging in until we get to that same level. So all we're trying to do is rinse and repeat the same trade. We're not trying to get cute with it. We're not getting frustrated. As we're seeing it come back up, we're actually excited that it's coming right into our level. The problem is futures got really going here and actually tried to take out the high of the day, which we marked here, 11.943. Tried to take that out, doesn't. But look what happens to Softy. It tries as well. Nowhere near the high of the day. So we're right on the relative weakness, but unfortunately, it couldn't withstand it. We get out. Look at the benefit of getting out at 60 there. Remember where we started averaging? You can't see it, but that's 40s and a couple in the 50s. Then that tick right there is out at 60. So at most, it's like a 15 cent hit. But look how far this goes up. It actually ticks up to 90. So if we had waited for that move, we could have had a little bit of a bigger hit. Then it pulls back and look, we just follow the same rules again. There's the 40 short again on the NASDAQ moving back down, rejecting from the top, coming back in again, right? Breaking the 50 period on the NASDAQ. Give us that again, boom to the downside. Now look at the risk. Short Microsoft 242.39. Look where we're first out at. 
That's right at the 50 period. That's like 15s. So that's already 20 cents. Then it comes down. Take it out at 42. That's 40 cents. Come back in. These are, these are each 20%. Then again, right here, we just kind of put this here at 75. We get the fill. So right there, that's 60, 70 cents now when all we're risking is back up to 60 again. So the fill is there. We still have 40% of this short as Microsoft falls down. Let's hold this trade. If the NASDAQ continues to fall and make even, even comes back to these new lows, Look, we've already identified that Microsoft is weaker than the market, hopefully. So we should be able to come back to this 241.20 area. But look, we scalp out. So I'm probably going to be sitting around here again where we got the last time out. But it's Microsoft. The key was patience. Let it settle down early because we don't have a, we don't have a direction. Now into earnings, we'll hold this and see if it gets a flush back in to close the day. It's Microsoft on earnings tomorrow, and it's your trade of the day.